Hello, this is John Muldoon from the Watermark Group, and today I'm going to be going over how to install advertising on your WordPress website. So for that, we're going to need a WordPress site. Here we have one. Uh, in one of the tabs, I have uh, just a new install of WordPress, uh, One Day in Napa, and uh, that's a blog. And in another tab, I have the dashboard for the site. It's a new site. And we're going to need some ads, too. So we're going to be doing two types of advertising today. Uh, Commission Junction affiliate ads. So I have Commission Junction open. And uh, this is also a new account. And then we have Google AdSense ads. Uh, and I'm going to be opening those. So first things first, we are going to install a couple of plugins. Uh, the plugins I really like for managing advertising are one of them is called Advertising Manager. So in my dashboard, I'm going to Plugins. I'm going to Add New. And I'm going to search for Advertising Manager. Here we go. Uh, I'm just going to install it. We're at version 3.4.17. And uh, this is the one we're going to use for Commission Junction. It can also do AdSense ads, but I actually like a different plugin for AdSense. Um, but I, I actually think it does a little bit better job. Install now. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to return to the plugin installer because we're going to install uh, the second plugin, which is called All in One AdSense and YPN. If you just search for All in One AdSense, it should come up. There it is. I'm going to install this as well. And I'm going to activate the plugin. Now, I'm going to also activate Advertising Manager. OK, um, let's, do, let's do Advertising Manager first. So I'm going to, for Advertising Manager, we're going to use Commission Junction ads. So if you don't have a, an account at Commission Junction, uh, this is useless for you, or go get one. Uh, but here I am, already logged in, and I'm going to go to Get Links. I'm going to do By Relationship, and this is a site one day in Napa, so um, I don't know. We're, these are just temporary placeholder ads, so it doesn't really matter what I put in, because we're going to change them in about a week. Uh, but let's put in the Wine Enthusiast. So I'm going to do View Links. And let's just, I want to find uh, an ad that fits nicely in the sidebar. Um, so most of these are text links, but since the WordPress site, if you remember, we've got a nice sidebar. And it's not too wide, um, but it's, it's at least wide enough for uh, an ad that's 120 pixels wide. So I look over here and I see 120 by 60 general banner. I'm going to get HTML. And highlight code. This is your this is the advertising code. And then I'm going to copy it. Uh, I can close this now. Then I'm going to go back into my WordPress dashboard. And going to ads. Now this is the uh, menu option for advertising manager. And it's really easy from Commission Junction to just paste your code in. If it's an HTML ad you're using and not a JavaScript ad, uh, it's going to import a things like your account number, um, 
who the advertiser is, that sort of stuff. So I'm going to paste it in and hit import. And a neat thing about this plugin is you can set up as many ads as you want, and you can choose to display just one in a specific place with the sidebar widget, or you can have it rotate through different ads. So it's uh, put in the account ID. If you're doing this from the video, do not write this number because you will be paying somebody else. Um, I'm going to give the ad a title. Uh, I know it's Commission Junction, but I think I'll just abbreviate that because the ad itself is for the wine enthusiast. So I'll do CJ for Commission Junction Wine Enthusiast. And uh, maybe one. That'll, in case we do other advertisers or other versions for the wine enthusiast. Now I'm going to scroll down here. Um, I'm just going to do one ad for now, so I won't worry about weight. Um, but we could set a weight to display certain ads more frequently. And I'm going to hit Save. So we've created an ad based on the code from Commission Junction. And now we're going to install it on the site. And the way we do that is you go under Appearance, Widgets. And this is where we can put our sidebar widgets in. I'm going to go back to the live website so you can see where this is going to go. Over here right now we have pages, archives, categories, blog role, uh, meta, and a search box. We could keep that stuff. That's the default sidebar. Um, so there's nothing actually in the sidebar. That stuff's sort of programmed into the theme, so the theme knows. If there's nothing in the sidebar, show all that stuff. So when I put this in the sidebar, I'm just going to drag and drop the advertisement widget into the sidebar. It's going to remove some of that other stuff from the theme or from the sidebar, but we could add it back in if we want. Um, we're going to make it really clear this is an ad. We could write our sponsors, or we could write know someone who loves wine question mark. And which ad are we going to display? Hit this drop down box. We're going to select the ad we just created. And I'm going to hide the widget formatting. And I'm going to hit save. And then if we go back to our live website over here, I'm going to hit refresh. And now we have an ad over here. Although it's not really centered, so we're going to fix that. And I want to wrap this video up in under 10 minutes, so I'm going to show you AdSense in a separate video. So I'm going back into Ads. I'm going to edit this ad. And you can add a little bit of HTML. before and after. So I'm going to do center, then my add text, and then no more center, or close center, if you will. Then I'll hit save. We're going to go back to the live site and hit refresh. And now the ad is centered in the sidebar, so it looks a little bit nicer. Okay, so this is John Muldoon with the Watermark Group installing Commission Junction ads on your WordPress site. Next up, uh, in the next video, we're going to do installing AdSense ads, but I'm going to stop here for now. Take care.